God work, the devil work. Right. Trying to impede your progress in the church. Right. The young people are looking for something else besides Jesus. We have the adults trying to turn to something else besides Jesus. And Jesus left it on record and said, without me. Huh? So why we believe that? Without me, you can't do nothing. So Micah in the fourth chapter, Esther in the 15th verse. Praise God. Sit where and read it out Moses. Oh, you have your Bible, you can look along with us. Praise God. Yeah. And Esther bade to turn Mordecai this answer. Esther, Mordecai had sent Esther words that our people out here being slain and killed by Haman. He typifies the devil. And this crack typifies Haman. Amen. Crack done come in and, and destroyed a lot of our young people. Amen. Mothers are moaning, their hearts are bleeding today because their children come in the house and steal to go out to buy crack. Amen. They tear up things because their mind is disturbed. Amen. And all the fasting and praying and preaching we do sometimes haven't reached your husband yet. Amen. He don't want you to stay in church for so long. You stay in church past hours and he feel like past hours you will have him to argue with. Amen. With all the joy that you got in church, he, he might make you lose it all. Uh -huh. Before you go to bed and go to sleep the same day that you got the joy. Why? Because the devil is riding high. The devil has always invaded God's people upset them and keep the pastor disturbed if he don't know how to go in his secret closet constantly. Amen. We don't have that praying team yes. that can pray for him and he can feel the power of prayer coming from those saints, those women that hold them things in order. Praise God. This is the day for that. And Esther said to Mordecai, Said, take these words to Mordecai. Go gather together. Says, you ain't gonna be able to win the battle if you can't give to the people. Amen. The battle must be won, but it must be won by the people that are together. Amen. The program must be compiled amen, by the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen somebody. We cannot have our way in that. And this is the trouble that we have mostly in the church. Everybody wants their own idea. Uh, preachers the two, praise God, they, they got a vision. They don't want to follow the apostle's vision. Y'all don't want to talk back to me. Amen. Praise God. That, that back there in the apostles' day, that they had 12 apostles. But Peter only had the key. All right. Now everybody want the key. Uh -huh. Amen. It's hard to really pull God's people together because everybody have a vision, everybody got a revelation. Amen. Everybody got some understanding. No one don't want to hear anybody. But if we want the power of God to operate, somebody in that bunch is the president. All right. And when you get that, you can make your laws that president says, we agree, not I agreed, and I made the law by myself. We made the law. Yeah. And we agreed to do this. Now, only thing that I'm calling you to is what you vowed to do. Right. Now, everybody can't be the head. Right. Somebody got to be the arms and the legs and the nose and the eyes. Yeah. Amen. Somebody got to take the low seat. Y'all know what it's doing. Oh, yeah. In order to make this thing go like God wanted, it, everybody must be in the building today with a spirit of submission. Amen. Submit yourself. Right. Hallelujah. Husband and wife ain't gonna get along and she gonna feel like that she's the boss. Uh -huh. so I'm gonna make him do it. Uh -huh. and, and I'm gonna tell you, y'all don't gotta do this. This it may remind me of it again. There's no, there's no good man that wasn't with God gonna, gonna listen to you bossing him. All right. 
Ain't no need you talking about you got an eye. You better hold your eye. Amen. Amen. Ain't no man gonna let you boss him. Amen. Cause he have one boss. All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna be a kid. It ain't no woman that really walking with God wanna boss no man. Oh, I really know it. You got nothing on you ain't gonna know it. You don't even have the spirit of both. Right. But the devil will hit you with it sometimes and who shall pray God? I know what they say. I know how they say it. You ain't gonna upset me and make me lose my joy because I got a little upset. So Esther says to uh, those servants of Mordecai said, you go tell Mordecai. Not, not she bossing him now. Ain't no bossing here. There's no compelling that Mordecai is ready because the death is among us. Uh -huh. Oh, this is what I'm saying. I, I don't want to hurry up with my kid, but death is among us. Uh -huh. And we want God to stop death. All right. uh -huh. Whatever it takes God for us to do to stop death, we ready to bow our knees. Uh -huh. And we take a few hours down here, we all will get here together. Uh -huh. Oh my God, help us. Nobody can do with God. Right. Nobody can rule these problems that we are in mixed up with God, but somebody don't want to miss it. <laughs> hey, thank you. Right. Some folks know they ain't getting nothing done. Not like God wanted. But they're so satisfied because they do it themselves. And I said to the people this morning, after a while, what you and I are doing by ourselves going to come to nothing. All right. Amen. 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 We're going to need Jesus every step of the way. Yeah. You can't if you can. We might be making a little progress now. Yeah. And it, it mounted to something. But Jesus said, and it wasn't going to last longer than you and I. Yeah. Without me. Okay. Without me. Let's check on saying, without me. You're going to need me. Yeah. It's going to mean me every step of the way. It's going to be God, God, God. And if we don't, we don't consider God in everything we're doing, it don't, it don't need to do it. Right. Are you listening? So Elsa said, look, look, tell Monica, tell him these words. Go he, gather together. So he go, gather the people. And if they suffer, oh yeah, you need to tell them that person where they suffer. Mm -hmm. He'll let you know when they suffer. Mm -hmm. Anything you tell them to do. Kneel down, get up. Get up, get up. Run, run. Amen. Walk, walk. Holler, holler. He's suffering then. <laughs> oh, brother, they're going to do some suffering. You ain't have a hard time with him. They mean, think he's going to die. <laughs> what does it take for me to live? Tell me. That's when you think he's going to die. But when you get to the place, you feel he's going to live a while. <laughs> Amen. We're having a hard time with some folks because we're living in an educated world. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in a money world. Yeah. We're living in a, in a moving world, yeah. getting things done. And some people think prosperity is of God yeah. all the time. All right. But it's not of God all the time. Right. We better check on this prosperity. Because the devil can get in and make you prosper in your own way. All right. Yeah. That's right, that's right. I'm talking something here, praise yeah. God. That, that too many of us today ain't paying no, man, ain't paying no attention to it. Uh, because we are really educated. In, in my boyhood day, they sent us out to get a job. We didn't know how to fill out no blanks. Yeah. Hope they didn't put or give us no blank to fill out, no application. Amen. Just tell me where to go and get a job and I'll go get it. And fill out. Amen. And these teenage folks, they can fill out applications as good as you and I am. And they feel like they don't need you for nothing much now because I can read and they read everything. Amen. Read everything. Sometimes you're sorry they can read. 